he'll get us to get turned off by what he's doing. Yeah. When you get turned off by what's going on around you, you tend to become desensitized yeah. to what is going on. I know that's a mouthful. Either he'll get you to agree and put your mouth on it so you, he can have an audience of agreement. Or he'll get you turned off by what you see and what you're hearing, okay? Through the news media, through social media, through people, through yada yada. And so what you do, I don't know about you, but I can talk for Dr. Lee. If I get turned off, I tend to just shut down. Chantal, I pass her, just shuts, she shuts down, she puts a wall up. So what happens is that a couple things happen when you shut down. Nothing can come in. But guess what? Nothing is coming out. So you no longer have an opinion, Mark, about anything. Why? Because you don't want to be bothered. That is also a ploy of the enemy. Okay? And especially, it's especially dangerous to the church. Because we are the change agents in the world. So if you are just Mm -hmm. If we are blocked because we don't want to bother or be bothered with what's going around, then we can't do what we were created and called to do because we don't want to be bothered. Now we got the right to not want to be bothered. They got a lot of stuff going on and you're just like saying, mm, I don't watch this one, I don't watch that. You don't know who lied. Come on, see, you, know, you just know who's lying. And so what you just do is you just kind of go in and implode and turn in and you don't have an opinion about anything. Well, well, if we don't, then nothing can change. Okay? So the kingdom of God is groaning and yearning. It's waiting, Jackie, for the saints of God to rise up, Brother Larry. And if you see how you got your notes, that's exactly what God wants. We, it's time to hunker down and become students of the word like never before. Yes. So when God literally launches you into or catapults you into a grocery store or a department store or wherever you go, he expects you to have the word of God burning on the tip of your lips. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that when you walk in, automatically things begin to change. Yes. We have to stop looking at the word of God and, and being mesmerized and, 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 and putting Apostle Paul and, and, the, and the apostles and, and all of the people in the Bible and putting them up on pedestals when really, if you know your word, they were just like you and I. In fact, in the book of Acts, when the Holy Ghost fell, I'm going somewhere, I, I'm just going to teach you. When the Holy Ghost fell, and, and Peter got filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, and he began to preach. The Bible says just in one sermon, 3,000 souls were added. Where am I going with this? Where I'm going with this is that we now have to look and change our mentality and stop looking for the multitude. Because God is no longer, you got to hear this, it's prophetic. God is no longer looking for the multitudes. I'm not saying that, you know, there are many there. Believe it or not, the, the percentage of mega churches are very small. They just make more noise. So they seem larger. But really, most churches are about this size. Which means that God is looking for a few good men and women who will pick up the sword of the Spirit in their hand and in their mouth and begin to do some warfare and become world changers on his behalf and bring the kingdom to earth. You hear me? You pretty girl, you listen. From heaven to earth. So I feel in the Holy Ghost this morning that God is, is beginning to deputize some saints in here that will pick up his, uh, his, his, his assignment, his agenda, and become world changers. Because the Bible says wherever you see oppression, 
Wherever you see the hand of, of wickedness, we're supposed to do something about it. In the, you listen, God has the ability to take, give, give, give me this, Pastor, giving somebody a free pen and yet change their life. You don't know by, by August 11th, by just reaching people who don't even go to church. See, they, watch, they're coming because it's free. Yeah. We're coming because it's kingdom. Yeah. They're coming because it's free. Yeah. We're coming because we're kingdom. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We know what they can't, what they can't conceive or perceive at this moment. And so what I'm saying to you is that now that we become the disciples and we sit down and we get some understanding, like the word of God said, but all thy get and get some what? Understanding. We get back, we go, he's refocusing us. He, he's, he's, he's refining us. He's taking out those things that aren't like him. He's taking away those faulty mindsets that hinder and keep us bound by the world and the world system. He's trying to change our mentality of how we see ourselves and how we see the world. For he has already said, we are not, we are in the world, John the 17th chapter, when Jesus prayed. He said, but we're not, mm -hmm, yes, he did say that, Pastor. He said, look, I'm planting my people in the world, but don't, don't get it twisted. They ain't even a part of it. So if we're in something that we're not a part of, I need to ask you, what's your assignment? Yes. I need to ask you, if you're in here, but you're not of it, then what you're here for? Well, I'm so glad you asked me, because I'm about to teach you kingdom business. I'm changing the way I see. I'm a world changer. A police, uh, not a police officer, a fireman, because I run where there used to be a fire station, and, and they still come there. And I, and one, he, he always speaks to me, and, and he just kind of was running and running, and, and uh, I stopped him, and I said, hey, hey, sir, you know what, you, you have children? And he said, yes. I said, well, I want you to know that our church off of 528 will be giving away free school supplies. He said, yes, and I heard Grace is doing it too. I said, yes, and Restoring Hope is doing it also. <laughs> when I see women, I stop, hey, 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 we want to be a blessing to you. You think that you don't have anything to give, but if you have a voice, and God has given us opportunity, and he's bringing in the blessing, that all we got to do is open our mouth and share it. Yeah. That's doing kingdom business. So let's get to business. Let's pray and let's get to the word. Amen. As I talk on stewardship. Heavenly Father, I just thank you and I praise you. Oh God, I love you. I love your word. I love your people. And I thank you, God, for the opportunity. And God, I don't want to waste my platform that you have given me. The platform to stand and to teach and to instruct your sons and your daughters into kingdom business. Father, water me as I water them. And then God, let us go out and water the world. Father, I thank you for the knowledge, God, that it's not limited, God. But God is vast and it's open to anyone who have an understanding or who have a desire to understand more about you and how you work concerning finances, concerning the world and the world system. I thank you, God, for insight and oversight into the lives of your people as I stand before them right now. Thank you for the anointing to remove yokes and, re and remove burdens and to destroy yokes in the name of Jesus. Amen.